Hey Facebook. Okay, I'm back. I've been coming back lately. Hmm. Talking more. There is a right now. Um, I wasn't aware of the shootings. Um, it still hasn't hit. It still hasn't hit like a mass shooting yet. Because I've seen that. And that's coming. Right now, it's leading up to it. It really is. It's leading up to it. And it's sad. Police getting killed. Students getting killed. And this is not it. I mean, this is not over. It's going to get a lot worse. School shooting. <laughs> Minnesota, you got the school shooting for the, of the cops in Virginia. It's not over. And the enemy is so angry. He is so angry because he knows his time is up. And he doesn't, he don't care. He doesn't care who he gets. He don't care. But, oh, it's, it's getting ready to be some bloodshed. And it's getting to be a lot of bloodshed, whether it's the grocery store, whether it's the um, um, school, club, home invasion. It doesn't matter. It's about to happen. Um, I'm only the messenger. I only give what I see. Uh, if I, if I, if I, if he tells me. If the Holy Spirit tells me this is what about to happen, you know, warn people, that's what I do. I will warn you. I will give you a warning of what's about to come. Um, I sometimes dream it. That's horrible. But I sometimes dream it. I see it. I walk past someone and I'll see it. It happens. It happens. And I knew that something bad was going to happen. I was in, in Texas and coming out the grocery store. And this was early January. Coming out the grocery store, coming out this way, and someone was walking this way. I have walked past many people during that day in that store. Saw some things. That's what happens with me. But this particular instance, I'm walking past, coming out, and a man's walking past me, coming in wrong. And I saw a total mass shooting. And at first I thought, oh, my God. Oh, he about to tear this store up. I'm out. I wasn't going to stay around for that. I don't care what I saw. And I wasn't going to warn anybody because I probably would have got caught up. But it was time for me to go. And when I did, I got spooked. And I called my daughter and told her what I saw. And I still was so spooked. But then the spirit said, no, <laughs> not here, not now. Prepare, prepare the warning. So that's when I was like, OK, I'm going to have to do a Facebook live. Because people read my stuff, and don't get me wrong, people read my things, and I got a lot of stuff on my page, and I say a lot of stuff, and I'm sure people allow it, to, they'll look at it, and they'll probably go in one ear and out the other, or they'll probably be like, yeah, that's Weta, Weta, this is what Weta do, but when it comes to a warning, when it comes to what the Holy Spirit has given to me, when, when y'all tells me this is it, you need to warn them then that's what I normally do. So one thing you cannot say is you've never heard it. That, that's all I can say. You've never, you can't say you didn't hear it because I've, I'm warning, I'm giving you what he's given me. Whether you receive it, whether you believe in it, or what, it doesn't really matter to me because I've done what I'm supposed to do. And as I've stated before, I'm not a prophet, I'm not a witch, I'm not any of those things. I'm obedient to what he says do. That, that's what I am. I'm obedient to what he say do. 
So for me, if I tell you, just take it for face value. This is what he's given to me. I don't talk to people like that. I'm not a, I get on Facebook. I say what I have to say. I put it on my post, laugh at a couple of things, whatever. I'm not really a communicator, communicator. I mostly like just post my stuff. But now it's getting a little bit scary, really bad. And it feels like it's coming closer to home. And when I say closer to home, I mean closer to those who are really connected with Yah. Those, and I say Yah, that's his name for me, okay? You guys call him God, you call him Jesus. That's fine. It's still the same person. I just say Yah or Yahusha, okay? That's, that's how we do it here. But when he tells me to speak or to give the warning or to say this or to say that, that is just what I do. So please don't shoot the messenger because I do shoot back. That's just that. <laughs> it's crazy, but yeah. So, but from this point, um, it's going to be a lot of things. I don't have specifics. I'm not that type of, um, I mean, sometimes he'll give me specifics, but when it, be, when it comes to warning, I just warn. I, I just give you what he gives me. Uh, he didn't tell me what school. He didn't tell me who going to do it. He didn't tell me how many is going to be done, who's going to get killed, how many is going to get shot, or who's going to shoot, or what blood is there. He never tells me that. And I'm not, I guess, those type of people who get that. That's not what, he, that's not what I'm created to do. I'm created to basically let you know that this is what is about to come. I can't give you a specific day because I don't know. I can't even give you a scripture because I don't know. I'm not a scholar. I love the Bible. I try my best to read it. Sometimes I don't understand what I'm reading and then I get sleepy and then we go to sleep. So I'm just saying I'm not a sleeper anyway, but the word will put you to sleep. I don't know why, but it does. But I don't have anything for it. I can only give you what it gives me. And believe me, it's coming. And at one point, I thought my discernment was off. Like, I'm like, I'm not off. I know, like a situation came. I knew <laughs> that that situation was about to come. The situation happened, but it still wasn't settled in my spirit that it's over. And it's not over. It's some more about to happen. And when it does happen, it's not going to be good. And that circle is going to see the truth and the truth is going to hurt so bad to where it's going to have to end, divide. But as far as that is concerned, we, we're off of that. I'm just saying as far as this, this, um, the mass shooting and the things that are happening, the shift that I felt mid morning was a bloody shift. It, it was bloody. It wasn't good. It was, and I, I, I say massacre for me because blood is, that's what it is. But it was horrifying. It was, it was scary. It, it was not good. No, like, I mean, it's really, really bad. And, and there are going to be so many different angles <laughs> happening, but people you would never ever in your mind think, oh my God, they're dead? And not just saying from a shooting, but I'm just saying death, this, 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 this thing here, this, this, this bloodshed, this, this, this bloody massacre for me that I saw, not with the guy at Krogus, but just period in the shift, it's, it's not good. The enemy is so angry right now. He's so pissed. Like he is mad because he knows his time is up. Okay. His time is up. And whether you believe you choose to believe or you think, oh, we're in a blessed season. Oh, we're, maybe your season is blessed. Okay. Maybe your whatever what you haven't had, this is your time to shine. Maybe this is your time. But as the world perspective, 
And from the spiritual realm perspective, sweetie, this ain't your time. Well, the time. How about that? I won't say your time because I don't know your time. I don't know what you've done. I don't know what you've been through. So I don't know. Okay. But I can say in the spirit as a whole, this ain't the time. So all this promising this and that and this world is going to come together. And no, it is not. It's not. No. Read your word. Read your word. Revelation, it didn't come together. Revelation was not a good thing. No. It's not. So right now, whatever your situation is, whatever you're going through, and if you're being blessed in this season, as they say, this your season, then enjoy your season. But for the world as a whole, no. No. And I need you to understand this massacre, this bloodshed, not just in America. See, that's the thing I need to make clear. This ain't about just America. This is about the, this, this is a world thing. And I'm sure, oh, well, I guess you can say that because they always kill it in other countries. Honey. No, they are. They do. But this is going to be like a phenomenon, like something just constantly happening. Like, are you serious? Like, it's constant. Because now it's time for us to get our head wrapped around what's about to happen. It's time for us to get our heads wrapped around what in the world, uh, who are we, what are we living in? And, and who are we really, really serving? You know, we say we serve Yah, but are we? Because what? <laughs> are we really? Are we living in a traditional thing that was dropped down to us as kids? So from generation to generation to generation to generation, are we living that or are we living individually for him? Because, see, we can live as a group and say, oh, we serve Yah. We're serving them as a group. Oh, we feeding off each other. But when you're not with that person, can you do this alone? Can you? Can you serve him alone? Can you be in your little secret place? Can you be in your little closet that you didn't fix up? Can you be even in your mind? Can you be in this place individual with individually without having somebody right there? Can you serve them by yourself? Because it's going to come down as an individual thing. When you go before Yah and you stand before him for judgment, uh, your whole group ain't going to be there. What you thought? They going to be there like, yeah, she was good. She did this and that. No. No, no, yo, you're going to be by yourself and he going to read down what you done done or he going to let you know. <laughs> Either go, I don't know you. I don't know you. I mean, you, no. I did this. I, I did that. And I did what I did for people. And I was a good person. Good people go to hell. But I, I gave them my car and I, I fed people and I had people in my house. I took care of people in my house. But you talked about them. I, I fed people. And uh, uh, when, when I had people in my house and I took care of the people, I, I mean, they, you know, I, I didn't ask them for nothing. But you made them feel uncomfortable. You made them feel uncomfortable. You made them feel worthless. You made them feel not worth being there or anywhere. Just because you kept them in your house don't mean nothing. 
So when you stand before Yah and you do all of those things and say all of those things, what do you want him to say back to you? Because he's going to tell you, well, this is what you did. Well, I did. Okay, but you did this. But I did this, but you also did this. So you counteracted what you did. It, it didn't even matter. So all I'm saying to you is we can stand together as a group, but can you stand by yourself individually? This world, United States of America universe, I'm going to say it like that. I'll say it again. The United States of America universe is about to get hit hard with bloodshed. This ain't no prophecy. This just telling you what y'all told me, what he showed me. Okay? So don't just expect, oh, it's in America. It, ain't, it didn't happen. No, 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 no. 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 We're not in this by ourselves. We're not. And for the black folk, Negroes, you need to learn. You need to go back. I don't know if we, don't go to the history because the history was jacked. That ain't our history. That, that was not history. We was given that history by the white folk. That, that's not us. Okay? We have history. We have kings. We have queens. That was taken in the slave trade and scattered throughout the world. Four corners of the earth. That's the whole world. Whether it's round, triangle, I don't care. We were scattered. And kings and queens were scattered. The elite. They're dead. But they're heirs that live on. Yeah. And they're heirs in America and other countries. And I'm talking about us black folk that don't know where we came from, that don't know who we are, that don't read the word, or we read the word and we don't really understand the word, or we read the word and don't get clarity of the word, or we read the word and don't want clarity of the word. We want to continue to listen to people tell us who we are when we can go and search for ourselves and see who we are. And don't give me that color babble. Don't. Every 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 race or whatever you want to call us knows who they are and where they come from. We don't. Why? Because we was hidden. We were hidden. Let me give you something. Let me give it to you. I don't care. I normally, I'm going to do it today. That's how we're going to do it. This is how we're going to do it. I'm going to pull up my Bible. My Bible is called the Sefer. Okay. Sefer has the original names in it. But I'm going to give you some because I, I always post it. And I know people say, oh, my God, she writes so long. Oh, God, I can't read that. It's a book. Oh, well, this we do. She'll talk about it. Okay, let me give you something since people, you know. Yeah, that's how we're going to do it. Give me one second. I'm always calling this out. I'm always calling out Deuteronomy 28, 15 and 6, 68. I always call it out. But I'm going to make sure you hear it today. Because <laughs> this is my life. You can either listen to it or you can get off of it. It doesn't matter. You ain't got to read it. I'm going to read it for you. And I'm going to read it out of my Bible. You can go to your Bible, the King James Version. You can go to the C, the ESV. You can go wherever you want to go. But I'm going to give you the, all the words, not words that are taking out, but I'll give you all the words. That way you can say, you know, hey, it, so at least she said it. This is how we're going to do it. 
So Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68. You got time. I got time. I got time today. I ain't outside. It's cold. Some of y'all got snow. Some of y'all got sleep. I hope you made it in the house. I hope you're safe. Rest your, rest your nerves. Thank y'all. You're not up in Boston somewhere. You got a little stuff. It ain't a lot. Enjoy what you have. Let me read this for you. Uh, hopefully you got your Bibles. I'm not sure if my sister is on here. Uh, Mayor, um, if you want, oh, there go my brother. Hey, Patrick. Um, Mayor, if you on here, I need you to chime in with me. Well, you don't have to say anything. Just let me know you're here. Anyway, so let me do this. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to do this because I want to be out of the way. So you go to your Bibles. If you get me Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68, I'm getting ready to show you who we are and the people who were taken in the slave trade. See, let me say this. I talk about us being Israelites, the people of the book. I mean that. I believe that with everything that I am. We are the people of the book. And as I say at all times, we're not monkeys. We did not come from there and we did not evolve from there. Thank you. We are real people. We're Yas people. Mm -hmm. Just so you know. And the reason why we're the last, the bottom, I used to ask this as a kid. Why they hate us like this? Why the heck is like we the scum? Well, that's what he designed it to do. He designed us to be scum. Why are we scum? Because we're disrespectful. We disobedient. <laughs> we did we did all sorts of things. He brought us out of Egypt before. Like literally brought us out. <laughs> We ate birds, we ate bread from heaven, we ate, I mean, just come on. Then we decide, uh oh, too. He got up in the mountain? Moses? Can't even tell. Well, where's Aaron? I'm right here. You know what? Mm -mm. I got this. We got, no, y'all, this is what we about to do. So then you go and you, you're doing all these things. Our people, we go, they go and do these things and building calves and golden calves and all this stuff. Ain't got nothing to do with y'all. He didn't brought us out. Didn't open up water. Who you know gonna walk through some dog on water? How we go? Seriously. How? How we do that? We get through the, we get up under there, you know, we gone. And y'all might believe that wasn't really true. Yes, it was. Bye bye line. Yeah, it was. Nobody want to believe nothing unless you looking dead at it. All the time, you ain't going to see everything. Just like the end time, you ain't going to always see what happens. You're not going to always see what Revelation says. Revelation ain't just for America. Revelation ain't just for St. Louis. Revelation ain't just for California. Revelation is for the world. Because that's what Esau and all these things are about to happen. That's what Revelation's about. But from the beginning of that Bible, it's about us, his people. Judah. Twelve tribes. Yeah. It's our history. It's telling us who we are. It's telling us what we're supposed to do. It's telling us how to live. We're supposed to guide people. His, we're his people. We're supposed to guide people to him. And I'm talking about the Gentiles, which we're not. I don't care what nobody tell you. We are not Gentiles. Unless you are Hawaiian and Filipina and all those people. If you came from the slaves, the black slaves, the Negro slaves that came from, uh, uh, from across the water, then you're Judah. Some of you are Benjamins. Some of you are, uh, some of you are Ham's people. Very few. Very few. Some of you are Levi's. These people were, were band together. They were brothers. 
Some of them live together, live closely. So is there some of them over here? But Judah's people? Uh, hey, baby, come on. Judah's people is, is scattered. They even still in Africa. And they going through hell. You see some Africans living good. Some people, okay. A lot of people ain't going through the struggle. A lot of people ain't being killed. A lot of people ain't being mistreated. Hungry. Stomachs all swole up. You can't do nothing. A lot of those people, Judah, better reach word. Better reach word. Just saying, better reach word. So let me do this for you. Since y'all say I write too much. Well, let me read a little bit for you. So Deuteronomy 28, 15. Some of these words I can't say. You might laugh at me. I don't really care. But I'm going to say it the best way I can. But I need you to understand. Get your word. Stop believing what everybody tell you and get your word for yourself. That's what they used to say when we was kids. Read it for yourself. Okay, well, then when we read it, then you, some of them said, no, that's not how it go. Well, how, so I need you to get your own understanding. I need you to ask y'all, please give me some understanding and some clarity of what's being read or what I'm finna read so I'll know how to understand this because I still don't get it. Okay? need you to get that. Can you hold for a moment and let me say this real quick before we do that. Let me do this real quick. This way you'll know what I'm talking about when I say we not Gentiles, okay? At least you'll give me that. So I'm going to do this real quick and it's going to be, it, it may seem funny to you because I can't say the words. But give me one second and I'm going to give it to you. Okay, so I'm going to Genesis 10. Genesis 10. One second. Okay, not Jim. One second. Just give me one minute. I'm coming. I'm trying to find it. Say what I need to say. And I'm going to go to the regular Bible. Um, hold on. Let me pull it up so I can read the regular Bible and then show you how it's being said. One second. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Um, Bible. Mary, pull your uh, Bible up on, on your phone, if you can. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do the King James Version real quick, give to you what I'm talking about. It says, Genesis 10, I'm reading from 1, verse 1, all the way to... Five. Okay. Now I'm gonna read out of the King James Version first so I can give you what I'm saying. It says, Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, and Ham, and Japheth. Okay. And unto them were sons born after the flood. So we know what we're talking about. Noah did that little boat thing. Everybody was on there, two, two, two. Everybody came off. He had three kids. They did what they had to do. Okay. Just saying. Adam and Eve started it, and they connect. They finished connecting it after he flooded the whole earth. The sons of Japheth was Gomer, Magog, and Madai, I don't know their name, and Javon, and Tubal, and Meshach, or Meshach, however you say it, and Tyrus, okay? And the sons of Gomer was Ashkenaz. Let's say it again, Ashkenaz. Those are the ones that are in Israel right now that's bumping their heads up against the wall. They're not Israelites. Okay? Just so you know. And the sons of Gomer is Ashkenaz and Ripheth, Rip, or whatever, and Togomar. 
And the sons of Jovan, or Jovan is Eli Elisha, or Elisha, Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanum. I don't know. And by these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands. Everyone after his tongue, after their families, in their nations. Okay? We are not Gentiles. We have never been Gentiles. Never. Please go to Genesis 1 and 5. You may say these names better than me. I could do it one more time. Okay? Now, these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, and Ham, and Japheth. And unto them were sons born after the flood. These sons of Japheth was Gomer, Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshach, and Tyrus. I don't know if those names are correct, but that's how it's out. The sons of Gomer were Ashkenaz, like the Ashkenaz Jews, Ashkenaz, Ripheth, Ripheth, and Togamar. The sons of Jovan was Elisha, uh, Elisha or Eli, Eli, whatever, Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanum. Dodanum, okay? I don't know. And by these were the isles of Gentiles divided in their lands, everyone after his tongue, after their families and their nations. Just saying. Gentiles. Didn't say nothing about us. Did it? No. Didn't say Negroes. Didn't say black folk. Didn't say none of us were Gentiles. We're not. Second, we're not ham people, but we are shams. I could go through this, but I don't feel like it because it's going to take away from where I want to go right now. So I ask you, I needed to say that because I'm always talking about we are not Gentiles. I'm always saying we're Israelites. I need for you, if you get in your mind and get it in your spirit, and if you don't believe me or trust me, that's fine because I don't, I, don't, I don't care about that. I need you to go and I need you to look for yourself. Genesis 10, start from 1. And it takes you all the way down. I used to look at them like, I don't know all these names. What are these people? Not knowing, wait, you need to look at that. You need to know who you are. You're about, I'm not none of these people. We went through so much hell. I never thought, I'm like, I'm, I'm, we ain't none of these people in the Bible. There's no way in the world we any of these people in the Bible. These people probably getting treated pretty good. They, But no, we must be some devils. And we ain't doing something we ain't doing right. They don't like us. So I don't know what part of the book we in, but I don't think we in the Bible. Maybe they had another book. That's how I thought. And that's how a lot of people think. That's why a lot of people don't pick up the Bible because they think it's fake. They think the Bible ain't real. Oh, that's man written. Man wrote that. Yeah, man did write it because that's what y'all created him to do. But honey, there are some real truths in this Bible. And the reason why we don't know it's real truths is because we don't read it. And all black folk ain't are not the ones who don't. A lot of black folks love to read. So when people say, oh, well, you give a black, folk, black person a book, they ain't going to read it. You a lie from the pit of hell. Oh, we read. Now, we don't have a lot of understanding of everything, but we read. Come on now. I think that's a low grade for me sometimes. I, I, we read. We just don't understand everything. But now I know. And I should have known a while, a while ago instead of listening to all these people who wants to tell us who we are and we're not Gentiles. So every time you go to church and the Gentiles and we're not them, stop calling us Gentiles because that's not who we are. Go back to your word or show these people where to go if you don't even want to tell them. But let us find out who we really are. Because I ain't asking us. Gomer and them ain't my grandpappies. Sorry, I don't know them. Not part of them. Just saying. 
Anyway, so let's do De let's do De Deuteronomy 15. Okay. So Deuteronomy 15. Let me go back. You got it, sis. Please get to it. Okay. I mean Deuteronomy 28. Please forgive me, guys. Deuteronomy 28. 15 through 68, okay? It reads, oh, let me read it from, read your Bible and I'll read mine. That's how we're going to do this. So it says, but it shall come to pass. If you will not hearken unto the voice of Yahuwah Elokai, that means Yah, God, the Almighty, the Creator, the One, the I Am. If you ain't listening to Him, this is what's finna happen. Yeah, this was our ancestors. This was our hard-headed ancestor, Negroes, who wanted to do things their way because stuff didn't come fast enough. Yeah, they pass that trait down to us. We do stuff so quick, it don't look, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm guilty. Stuff don't come fast enough. I'm like, no, nah, man, we got to fix this. No, nah, I need this now. Mm-mm. No, this, mm-mm. I need this right now. Like, literally, right now. And he's steady saying, I got this. I'm already seeing what's up ahead the road. You don't, if you get this right now, this going to happen. So let me hold off for a minute so we can make this happen correct. Oh, man, no, I go out trying to make stuff happen. Jacks it up. So here we go. Excuse me. It says, hold on. Okay. But it shall come to pass if you will not hearken unto the voice of Yahuwah Elokai to guard, to, I mean, to guard, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day, that all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. Cursed shall you be in the city, and cursed shall you be in the field. Mm -hmm. In the field now, and in the city. Picnic caught, shoot canes, serving master. A massa. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Getting beat. This is what is telling us what's gonna happen. If we don't do what we're supposed to do, this all these the curses that's gonna come. So this here is our hard-headed uh ancestors. Negroes. Okay, not no white folk, not no Mexicans, not no Puerto Ricans, not no none of these people, no Indians, none of these people. He said. Us, this, 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 this about us. This Shem's people. This from the line of Shem. Not Ham, not Japheth. From Shem. Okay? That's the line with King David, Abraham, Moses, Yahusha, which is you call Jesus, was black. Black people. All, this is us. Okay? It says, Curse shall you be in the city, and curse shall you be in the field. Curse shall be your basket and your store. Yeah, get it. Curse shall be the fruit of your body and the fruit of your land, the increase of your kind and the flocks of your sheep. If you're looking at me and you're watching me, I'm just saying we're in, we're in Deuteronomy 28, 15, and going all the way to 68. I'm going to do it because y'all don't like reading my writing. So I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to tell you about it. That way you can't say you didn't hear it. I didn't get to read that. Well, you're going to hear me. Just saying, that's where we at right now. And earlier I read 10, uh, Genesis 10, 1 through 5, showing that we are not Gentiles. That's, that's, that's all I was saying. Okay. So it says, cursed, I'm sorry, cursed shall be your basket and your store. That's 17. Okay, 28. And 17. I'm going all the way down. I started at 15. 18. Curse shall be the fruit of your body and the fruit of your land, the increase of your kind and the flocks of your sheep. 
Curse shall be you when you come in, and curse shall be you when you go out. Mm -hmm. Yahuwah shall send upon you cursing, vexation, and rebuke, and all that you set your hand to do, until you be quickly destroyed, and until you perish quickly, because of the wickedness of your doings, whereby you have forsaken me. Let me say that again. 20. Yahuwah, God, okay, shall send upon you cursing and vexation. Everything we do, it don't even matter. Ain't no good. Ain't good enough. They do everything in their powers to bring us down. So when we get here, we come down. When we up here, we come back down. You think because you done made all this money and you think because y'all doing all this and you good and you out there that you are not a cursed people. You are still a cursed people. The nation is a cursed people. So if, if he's bringing you up, if you're going up there, you're coming back down because this is the word. It's the word. Yes, we under the umbrella of grace. Y'all always say that. Well, we under the umbrella. Yes, we are. But this nation is still cursed. Until we repent for our sins and our forefathers' sins, we are still a cursed nation. I don't care what you do. You can fly to the moon and sit on some bubble gum and blow up and think you're going to fly higher. And when you done, they still going to curse you. They still going to curse you. Because we are a cursed nation. We are cursed people. Thank our forefathers. Matter of fact, thank our ancestors. Appreciate you. Thank you for getting us caught up in this. Appreciate you. All right. Again, Yahuwah shall send upon you cursing and vexation and rebuke in all that you set your hand unto for to do. Until you be destroyed. They killing us. They killing us. They got rid of Black Wall Street. Thought we was all that, didn't we? We had that going, man. We was good. They didn't care. That was a beautiful thing we had. It really was. It was us. But it was to be built and torn down because his word don't lie. I'm going to build you up and you going down. Should do what I told you to do. Mm-hmm. Yup. That's what he did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And until you perish quickly because of the wickedness of your doings whereby you have forsaken me. I don't care what it looked like. You for, we forsake, we forsook him. We forsook him. And look at us. <laughs> the most hurtful thing, we disrespected him. We forsook our father. We forsook him. And we still going through hell right now. They killing us. They taking us out of here. They hate us. Yeah. Wow. Yahuwah, this is 21. Yahuwah shall make the pestilence cleave unto you until he has consumed you from off the land, whither you go to possess it. We ain't got nothing and we can't have nothing. Yahuwah shall smite you with a consumption and with fever and with inflammation and with an extreme burning, and with the sword, and with blasting, and with mildew, and they shall pursue you until you perish. All these illnesses, yes, don't get me wrong, white people, Mexicans, Indians, Asians, all these people got these diseases, but baby, cop, can count up the, the statistics of us black folk. I'm just saying, Count up the, st st I can't even say the word, statistics 
of us black folk, Negroes, not Africans, because those are hams. I'm talking Negroes, shams people, us slave folk, us Negroes, and guess how? We got more than anybody. We have more than anybody. Disease is tearing us up. <laughs> Diseases is tearing our tails up, man. It's killing us like crazy. Oh, we got to do this. We got to do this. We, gotta, and we still, it's killing us. Because the word said, this word, why don't you go into your word and you can see I'm not lying. I'm again, I'm saying Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68. Right now, I'm on 22. I'm finna hit 23. And your heaven that is over your head shall be brass. And the earth that is under your foot, under you, shall be iron. You getting it, yeah? Because that's what that's what it said. I'll say it again. And your heaven that is over you, over your head, shall be brass, and the earth that is under you shall be iron. Mm-hmm. You still don't get it. Okay, let me go down a little bit. Maybe you'll catch what I'm saying, okay? So listen to me. Hopefully you got your word. 25. No, I'm sorry, 24. Yahuwah shall make the rain of your land powdered and dust. From heaven shall it come down upon you until you be destroyed. You still you didn't get it. Huh? I'll say it again. Listen, I'm saying one time. Yahuwah shall make the rain of your land powdered and dust from heaven. No, powdered and dust from heaven shall it come down upon you until you be destroyed. We ain't got jack. We had land. We thought they burn that up. Everything we put our hands and plow to didn't last. It became dry. It didn't prosper. It didn't produce fruit. It didn't produce vegetables. It didn't produce anything. It did none of that. It was dry. And we weren't able to do anything, and a lot of us died. Couldn't take care of each other. They wasn't giving us nothing. Saying your word. All right. Where am I at? Okay. And 25. Yahuwah shall cause you to be smitten before your enemies. You shall go out one way against them and flee seven ways. And, and, a flee set, and flee seven ways before them. And shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. And your carcass, you know what carcass is, right? Dead bodies, dead, flat, dead, just dead. We're nothing. We're just dead, and we're out there in the land, and the birds can eat us up, the dogs, the monkey, whatever, anything can tear us up. How about that? We're just little carcasses, okay? And your carcass shall be meat until all fowls of the earth. So them buzzards. Them big old giant turkey buzzards, them doggone eagles, them doggone things flying in the air, no matter what it is, they see food, they see your body, they see me. Oh, let's go. We getting told about it. Okay. And until the, and so in your carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the earth, of the air, and unto the beast of the earth, and no man shall free them away. What are you going to do? Shoot, shoot. You got to go. Man, bye. I'll eat you too. Don't so about your business now. You already walked. Don't let us trip you up. Come on. <laughs> Don't about your business. We already got these right here. Don't let us go. Leave us alone now. Okay, so they, we gonna, we gonna be, they, they can't, can't no man do nothing for us. Our repentance is what's going to make it best for us. Can't no man help you. 
Can't no man help me. Can't no woman help me. My repentance can help me. His assurance in knowing that I'm sincere can help me. Somebody said we're going to be perfect. No. But you better know how to go to him. I'm sorry. I don't, I, don't, I don't know my answer. I still ask him to forgive him. Because I don't know. Lord, they put on us. What they did. I don't like it. It's not a good feeling. I don't want it. Okay? Just saying. I ain't going to explain everyone because I don't know all of them. Probably ain't got nothing for everything. But I'm going to give you what I know. All right? And so, whoever just came on, this right here is Deuteronomy 28. 15 through 68. This is talking about the Israelites telling you who we are. We're the people of the book. We are the descendants of Judah. We are the descendants of the, the transatlantic, uh, transatlantic slave trade, the people that was brought over here. They were kings and they were queens, emperors. They were people of importance. And Yahuwah brought them down to nothing. To slaves. I will take everything you had that you thought you had and you thought you was all of that. You tried me, just like I kicked Hashatan, which is Satan, out of heaven. I'm going to kick your butt off of this land and I'm going to send you somewhere and let people dog you out and give you 400 years again because y'all already been out one time. I gave you 400 years and you came out, you act like you had some sense a little bit. Now you want to act another fool. So what I'm going to do, and I said fool, and now I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and send you back again. This time I'm going to ship you out of here. That way you can't be in Africa. And some of y'all can still stay over here because I know, but I'm going to send a lot of y'all away. Judah, you out of here. Yeah, you do too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do too much. So I'm, 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 I got y'all. Don't worry about it. So that's how he doing us. So this is what I'm reading from. Excuse me. Then it says, Yahuwah will smite you with the botch of Mitzrayim and with the tumors and with the scabs and with the itch whereof you cannot be healed. You better not tell me that some of us got stuff that can't be healed. Like our skin be doing stuff and we cannot heal. We steady blistering or we steady bleeding out of it or we getting ulcers in it and don't think oh i don't know when this comes from it's a i don't know honey reach word dry skin we got ex eczema we got all these things that's tearing us up skin can't with bad skin we can't do it, it. and you think oh i think this came from the pills uh I think this comes from what we be eating. No, it's coming from the word. Ain't got nothing to do with no food. The Bible said, I, Yahuwah, God, will smite you with the botch of Mitzrayim and with the tumors and the scab and with scab and with the itch whereof you cannot be healed. Come on now. How many times have y'all done tried to get some doggone uh, what you call this stuff? Um, uh, what they be shooting you up with, sis? Uh, uh, steroids and all these things and all this stuff that's supposed to remove and help you with eczema. And and we still itching. Uh, our skin still is dried up, looking like skelly alligators. We still going through all this stuff. We still going through all this stuff. Our bodies are not healed. Ain't because, oh, it, it's just, it's, you know, African Americans, um, they, uh, they, their bodies are so much different. You doggone right, we different. You right, we built different. We made different. Our creator made us special. He knew what he was doing with us. Because he knew this mess was going to happen. Huh? He knew this mess was going to come through. He knew we was going to be a mess. Come on now. He knew he was going to be a mess. He knew this. Say new. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Ain't that what they say? He knew it. So now we can't heal. Then it says, Yahuwah, God, shall smite you with madness and blindness and astonishment of the heart. Good. We, we as crazy as best folks. Yeah, we got some crazy white folks. Asians, Mexicans, all these people. 
but you better believe it. Go into statistics. Black folk got a bad, our mental illness is, it, it, it's sky high. We crazy as best bugs. I don't care what y'all say. Don't call them crazy. Don't say they retire. We are cool, cray cray. We looney tunes. Ain't because of no people. Ain't because of no food or our kids. I don't know. We, we got to be. No. Your word told you what was going to be happening. Or we was going to be crazy. That's what the word said. I ain't said it. Word said it. The word said we was going to be crazy. It just, it just said it. I'm sure I have some of this touchness. Can't tell me. I'm sure I got some touchness. A lot of my people will tell you, people I know from back in the day, even till the day. And hush, sister, Mary, don't say a word. Okay. That will say, oh, we don't. Oh, no, nah, man, that girl was crazy. No, nah, no, nah, that's, no, nah, she was crazy, like crazy, crazy. I wasn't crazy. I mean, I might have been. Let me take that back. I probably was crazy. The word said I was going to be crazy. So maybe I had some of this madness. And I blindness because I'm already blind in one eye. Yeah, my heart was cold. Was 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 rock is rock stone, man. My, my heart was rock stone. You couldn't could you couldn't do nothing for me. If I ain't like you, I ain't like you. If I hated you, I hated you. If I didn't want you, I would try to kill you. That was who I am. That was who I was. But that's who I was. Mm -hmm. So I have to look at this one. And this is Deuteronomy 28 and 28. Yahuwah shall smite you with madness, blindness, and astonishment of the heart. I, I probably was this. So I probably need to circle this right here. Put me in this a little bit. I'm probably a part of this, okay? Just saying. Just saying. 29. And you shall grope at, no, at noonday as the blind gropes in the darkness. And you shall not prosper in your ways. And you shall be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. And no man shall save you. Let me do that again. Let me read that again. And this is Deuteronomy 28 and 29. And you shall grope at noonday as the blind gropes in darkness. And you shall not prosper in your ways, and you shall be only oppressed, oppressed, and spoiled. No good. Don't, ain't done nothing want you. Cabbage stank. Hmm? Set that meat out for a while, it stank. It's no good. You spoil, man. Milk spoil. Stuff spoil. You ain't no good. Nobody want that mess evermore forever forever and no man shall save you can't nobody do nothing for us i don't care what y'all think oh we're gonna get biden up in there or we're gonna get obama up in there oh my god when we get what's the name up in there they're gonna fight for us they don't give a flying freak about us <laughs> Ain't nobody going to save us but us who we decide we going to serve. Ain't nobody going to serve us. I don't care. You can go get Moses, Elijah. Matter of fact, you can go get Mary, Magdalene. You can go get Thomas. You can go get Paul, Peter. You can go get John the Baptist. You can go and get Moses. You can go and even get, uh, let me think, who, who? Who was that that just went on up to heaven? Elisha or Elijah? One of them. You can go get one of them. And they can come down here and they can try to petition for us. Adam and Chua, which her, that was her name, but y'all say Eve. You can go, go get our mom and daddy, Adam and Eve. They can come here and stand and be like, okay, okay. Just please. Just give my kids a time. Just give my kids a chance. Just, just give my kids a chance this time. 
either you can come back up here. Oh, y'all. Or you can stay down there with your kids, them bad tail kids, and perish with them. All y'all. Five. Four. Three. I thought so. Exactly. Ain't nobody finna fight for us. Because we got to decide who we going to serve. We got to decide who we going who we going to be with. Either you going to do for Hashatan with Satan or you going to do for y'all who is God. That's the job call. That's the decision we got to make. They can't make it for us. We got to make it ourselves. We got to do that. This ain't about the rapture. This ain't about none of that. This is about who are you going to really, 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 really serve? And who you think got your back? You got your back. Who you think got your back? Who you think all of them going to come down here and petition for us? No. You think they coming down here be like, hey, 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 let my kids, my kids, man, my, your kids was bad. You had some bad tail kids, Adam and Eve. You did. Shim, your kids was bad. You had some bad kids, dude. You did. You had some bad kids. Your, your kids, man, your kids was bad out of all your brothers. You you and your brothers. Yeah, we're going with them bad too now because, yeah, they real bad. Now, this these are the bad ones. These are bad ones. Yeah, these, these, these Japheth, your kids is, is horrible. I'm sorry. Your kids, your kids is demonic. But Shem, your kids is, dude, your kids bad, man. Your kids, your kids bad. No. Ain't they, our people ain't coming down here for us. They still trying to make it, oh my God, am I? Really? Wait your turn. So I'm just saying, since you crazy, I'm just saying, we have to do these things and we got to understand who we going to serve. We got to know who we going to serve. We got to believe who we going to serve. We got to trust who we going to serve. That's just simply put. That's how we got to do this. Can't nobody help us. And the word said it. He can, can no man save us. Can't no preacher man. Can't no, uh, no, no rich man. Can't no uh, food man. Can't no karate man. Can't no fighter man. Can't no fire. Can't no ultra man. Can't help us. Speed race can't help us. Uh, Johnny Sacco can't help us. Uh, Coca Miller. None of these people. None of these things. None of these things can help us, y'all. We got to do this ourselves, cause we got to believe and know who we who we serve, and we got to come back to His word. We got to come back to His promise. And I'm saying some funnies, but I'm being really for real. We got to come back to his promise. This all we got. Now, people say, oh, we all we got. No, Negro. No, we ain't all we got. No. Because, see, if I trust in you, and if I try to believe that you all I got, you're going to play me. You're going to try me. You're going to dog me. You're going to flip the script on me. So we ain't all we got. I can trust you. I believe in you. I believe he gave you to me, but you're still human. But I got to believe in him, and I got to believe in his word, that this word is going to bring me and take me where I need to go. That's where I got. That's what I got to believe. Hey, brother, Marcus, I got to believe that. So this is where it comes into play, that no man can save us. Can't nobody save us, but us and y'all. Y'all saves us, but we got to go to y'all and say, Father, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what they did. I'm sorry I got their bloodline. I'm sorry that I'm, I'm part of it. And yeah, I'm a little crazy, but I'm saying I believe you and I know you who you are and I'm going to serve you. Okay? I'm going to do better than them because you know how our parents always say do better than how we did. Do better than us. Then you know what? I'm going to do better than my ancestors. That's how I feel. 
I'm going to do better than my ancestors did. And I'm going to do the one, I'm going to be the one that get us to where we need to go. I'm going to be the one that speak out because I don't care what people say about me. I don't care what people think about me. Matters not to me. I could care less what people say about Weta. My self-esteem is way up here. It ain't never been low. So I don't care what people think. But I'm going to serve him. And if I cuss you out in the process, I'm sorry. I'm praying I need help. But I'm going to serve him. Regardless of what. I ain't going to hell for nobody. And if you don't go when it's time for us to go, where we supposed to go, you stuck. Because I'm not coming back to help you get over there. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I'll be like mom and them. I'm not coming down. they will be all right. Y'all better learn. Better learn. So, also, I'm not finished. Let's go back. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. I didn't mess up one thing. Okay. 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 So, I was at 28 and let's see. Okay, I did 29, and it says again, and you shall grope at noonday as the blind gropes in the darkness, and you shall not prosper in your ways, and you shall be the, be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save you. Get your Bible, Marcus. Is We had Deut uh, Deuteronomy 28, and I'm getting ready to hit 30. Please make sure you got your word, brother. All right, 30. You shall betroth a woman, and another man shall lie with her. Somebody gonna lay with your wife. What you gonna do? You gonna try to fight them? Cause they gonna kill you. Somebody about to get them. This is our ancestors. This is what happened to us, our people. Okay, I ain't talking about right now. I'm talking about our people. This is what happened to our people. Our slaves, that came, the slaves that came from over there, this is what they did here in everywhere else, I'm sure. Judah, the tribe of Judah. Yeah, this is what happened to us, okay? Again. You shall betroth a woman and another man shall lie with her. You shall build a house and you shall not dwell in it therein. You shall plant a vineyard and shall not gather the grapes thereof. You ain't drinking nothing. Okay. You ain't finna live in that house you just built for them. You hear what I'm saying? Ah, my people fought for this. My family, your family ain't fought for Jack. Your family didn't even win this. We built that. Negroes built all of this. Uh, that's what I said. A merry freaking cup. We built this and can't even live in it. Burnt out. Then got all kinds of stuff happening. We can't even, we can't, we can't grow nothing because they get rid of them. They kid, they did, they didn't. Had children with our wives. So now we got a bag of mixtures. I don't care about all that. I could care less what you mix with. I'm just saying. They wanted to wipe out Israel. They wanted to wipe out the Israelites. They wanted to. That was the purpose. To wipe out Israelites. Y'all's people. His special people. I'm not saying everybody's not his people. So don't come at me with that. Please don't come to me. Well, everybody his. I don't want to hear all that. I'm not saying everybody's not his people. Of course we his people. He created us. But I'm talking about the people of the book. Now see, when I say that about all, oh, you know, his people, our, we are his people, and then everybody like, well, what about these people? These people are his people too, and the Israelites, and the people that seem the Jewish people, and the Ah, ah, but when I say something about us, black folk being his people, we got problems, we got questions, we got, we got a little uh, uh, rhetorical situations, but when I say something about, oh, and these people are his, oh, yeah.
Okay, can you see me? Sis, let me know if y'all see me. Sorry about that, the internet went out. Let me know if you can see me. Can somebody tell me if y'all can send me, see me, I'm sorry. My internet went out. Ha! Your Satan was like, oh, what you ain't finna do is talk about them people over there bumping them heads. You're not gonna do that. Yes, I am. I ain't done. Can y'all see me? Because, hey, baby, you can see me? Y'all talk to me. Can y'all see me? Because I ain't through. Can, can you see me? Yes or no? That's all I need. Chrissy, can you see me? Am I still live to you? One second, because I'm I'm not done. Oh, awesome, awesome. Okay, sorry about that. Internet kind of went out for a minute, but it's all good. Satan probably upset because I was talking about them people. But anyway, like I was saying, I'm not done, and I ain't finna be through. Y'all got a few minutes with me. Let me go back to my, uh, thank you, brother. Okay. So like I said, Every time we talk about black folk here and there, everybody gets a little upset because, you know, we're, we're really kind of putting the black folk out there. We're trying to give, let them know, you know, we exist. Talk about everybody else. Hey, we good. Yes, you are correct. Bye. And miss me with that. Let me finish my scripture. But Satan just mad. I'm going to do what I got to do. Hey, pumpkin. Okay. Okay. So I was on. All right. So I did the, the betrothed and the laying down with the women and all that. Then it says your ox. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 31. Your ox shall be slain before your eyes and you shall not eat thereof. Your ass shall be violently taken away from, from before your face. And shall not be restored unto you. Your sheep shall be given to your enemies. And you shall have none to rescue them. All our stuff. Our animals. What we need to survive off of. They took them. They left us with nothing. See, us being transported in slavery was to kill us. We were to be made a, 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 an example of. He let some of us live. Don't get wrong now. Huh? He let some of us live. Yeah, because we have to be a testimony. Yeah, we got to be a testimony. But a lot of us got killed. A lot of us died. Hunger. They just, they just did everything to us. But we were sent here to be an example. We were sent throughout the world to be an example of what not to do. Don't play with daddy. Don't play with him. Don't disrespect him. Because he will show you something. He will show you. Don't play with me. You don't know me like that. Don't play with me. Oh, you want to play with me? I'm at to show you what I mean. And that's what he did. That's what he did. So, it says, again, Deuteronomy 28 and 31, your ox shall be slain before your eyes. 
or and you shall not eat thereof your ass shall be violently taken away from before your face and shall not be restored unto you your sheep shall be given unto your enemies you don't give us you don't give my stuff <laughs> and you shall have none to rescue them your sons and daughters shall be given unto another people and your eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all day long. And there shall be no might in your hand. They took your kids. Then gave them to the little white man. To the master. We can't. What we gonna do? Huh? What we gonna do? How, how we gonna do this? What, what we gonna do? They took the kids. From us. In our face. Like, do something. What you gonna do? Come on, do it. Let me see it. What could we do? Nothing. They fed our kids to alligators, our babies to alligators. They made books and, 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 and stuff out of our skin. Just saying. We got to up. And we still getting terrible. Now they making shredded meat out of us with bullets and, and making us look like Swiss cheese. All because we say, huh? Oh, we about to kill you. Oh, 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 they finna kill us. And well, all we said is, huh? Oh, I'm threatened. Oh my, they finna, uh-uh, somebody right. No, no, you gotta, we can't do this. Come on, are you serious? They making us, they take, they kill me. They kill me. They kill me. I don't care how many people y'all see come together. I don't care how many people y'all see. Oh, they're fighting for us. And you think they're going to save us? No. They're not going to save us. They can fight for us for 20 years. Matter of fact, they've been fighting for us since, since when? We had some fighting for us when Harriet Tubman and when some of us, some of us got over here and was trying to escape. We had some fighting for us. They still ain't saved us. And this is 2022. 1619. They were still fighting for us. Some, some white folk and people was fighting for us. 1619. 2019. They were still fighting for us. That was 400 years. That's over. It was up. Our slavery situation, our captivity thing is over. That's over. He said 400 years. He said it in the Bible. So we had 400. We're done with that. Now it's up to you. Who you going to serve? We can get out of here if we want to. We can go. We can go now. But majority of everybody is like, I don't know what's going over there. It's nice. It's too many bugs. I ain't finna go. I don't know nothing about over there. That ain't that ain't where I'm from. I'm from here. Are you? Hmm. Are you? Yeah, I was born here. This ain't my home. I was born here. I'm an Israelite. I don't care what you call me. I'm an Israelite. I'm that blood. The, the blood that runs through my veins. I'm an Israelite. And I'm an heir to a throne. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you say. I am. There are kings and queens over here. Anyway. Back to what I'm saying. Okay. So. Did the woman thing. Then it says. This is 31. I didn't know I did that. Talked about the, about the animals. Talked about our kids being given to folk and we can't say nothing. 33. The fruit of your land and all your labors shall a nation which you know not eat it up. So everything we did over here, we can't have it. We still, anybody can come from a whole nother country, a whole nother country and get anything they want. But we can't get nothing over here. We still live here. And we the ones that, that, that help build this place. Matter of fact, we the one that's built this place. We help them. We built this place. 
We're the ones that built this place. And we can't get nothing, but anybody can come over here and get what they want because they're not us. Better learn your word. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, let me do it again. 33, the fruit of your land and all your labor shall a nation which you know not eat up, and you shall be only oppressed and crushed always. Every time you turn around, they crushing us. They're killing us. So that you shall be mad for the sight of your eyes, which you shall see. We always piss, too. Oh, how the heck? How the... These... Oh, these... You gotta be kidding me. How we... That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what black folk do. Yeah. Those are the things we say. I want to say. I'm going to praise him anyway. I'm mad. I don't feel like praising him. No, I don't want to praise him right now. I want to know what, why. Read your word. Then we can find out. 35. Yahuwah, God, shall smite you in the knees and the legs with a sore botch that cannot be healed from the sole of your foot unto the top of your head. Yahuwah, God, shall bring you and your king, which you shall which you shall set over you unto a nation which neither you nor your fathers have known. And there shall you serve other Elohims, wood and stone. Cross, pow, right there. Cross, pow, right there. Come on. Come on. Statues. Hmm. Statues. Come on. Wood and stone. All is it's in the word. Ask for clarity. If you think I'm lying, just ask for clarity. Please ask for some clarity. 37. And you shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations where the Yahuwah shall lead you. They cuss us out. We niggas. How about that? We niggas. We ain't nothing. We coons. Huh? We niggas. We coons. We this. We that. Come on. The word telling you what it says. We are by words. Proverbs. The word is telling you this. We're astonishment. George Floyd got killed right there on, right there on the TV. Oh, my gosh. Right there on the TV. Kneecap. On his neck. I can't breathe. Mama. No help. We got video. No help. Nobody went to help. But we got video. I ain't against, I ain't going against none of that. What I am going against is we ain't had no help. I got shot. I got killed. Thanks. Cause I'd have been. I, uh, Alexa, shut up. I'd have got killed. Cause I'd have been running and jumping, and I'd probably got shot in midair. Cause once I'd have heard "mama," or once I'd have just saw this this man doing what he's doing, and I'd have saw that, I probably would got hurt. I probably would. Because in my mind said, that's a kid to me. In my mind said, that would have been a child's cry for me. Okay, I'm not everybody. And I know people say, yeah, I don't know what you're going to do. No, I don't know what I would do. But my mind said, I probably would have ran, jumped, and got hit. Just saying. I'm just saying. Eric going the same way. That, that. No. No. We are astonishments. We are bywords. We are proverbs. He did this to us. And it's not going to end until we decide who are we going to serve. It's not going to end until we decide that he is the I am. And we're sorry. We are so sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Get me out of here before it happens. Let me go. Find me a way to get up out of here, please, because I'm ready to go now. You can, get, you can get me up out of here without having to go through all of this. I'm okay. 
He put some of us through here. He allowed us to live and go through, but he allowed us to live to be testimonies. So when we do decide to get, when we are able to go back home to where we belong, to our promised land, then we have a testimony. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So anyway, 37. Again, and you shall become a, an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations where the Yahuwah shall lead you. You shall carry much seed out into the field and shall gather but little in, for the locusts shall consume it. You shall plant vineyards and dress them, but shall neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes, for the worms shall eat them. You shall have olive trees throughout all of your coast, but you shall not anoint yourselves with oil, for your olive shall cast his fruit. Wow. You shall beget sons and daughters, but you shall not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. Ah, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what they did when they sent the kids from Spain, from Portugal. They sent them back to St. Thomas, and then St. Thomas grabbed them children and into captivity. Four corners of the earth. I'm just saying. Do some, do some history. Go do some study. Find some real history. Some real history of the Negroes. Don't say black folk. Go Negroes. Negro land. All of Do that. 42. All your trees and fruits of your land shall the locusts consume. The stranger that is within you shall get above, get up above you very high, and you shall come down very low. So everybody that come up here, they, they can do this. That's all these people from different foreign countries, anywhere they can come over here and get what they want and do what they want. But when it comes to us, we can't get a loan. We can barely get payday loans. <laughs> we get a payday loan. We get a payday loan for $400. By the time we finish it, we didn't pay $1,700. Out for four hundred dollars. Yeah, that's when your name changed. I'm just saying, I'm not. But I'm just saying, that's how it's working. Huh. The strength. Okay, he shall lend to you, and you shall not lend to him. He shall be the head, and you shall be the tail. We are the tails. Judah is the tail. Now the script is being flipped because now it's flipping over. Esau is, is becoming the end and we're becoming the beginning. Everything is flipping. We have a chance now. We have a chance to get this right. Okay. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon you and shall pursue you and overtake you till you be destroyed, because you hearkened not unto the voice of Yahuwah Elokai to guard his commandments and his statutes which he commanded you. And they shall be upon you for a sign and a wonder, and upon your seed forever. We the seeds. <laughs> we the seeds. They did all this crap, and we got to pay for it. They did all this mess and left it for us. I ain't asked for this. I don't know y'all like that. Y'all just my uncles and my grandpappies and my cousins. I don't know you. And I got to now deal with your mess that you left for us. Yeah. You left this, I got to deal with. Wow. Forever. Come on now. 47. Because you serve not Yahuwah Elokai with joyfulness and with gladness of the heart for the abundance of all things, therefore shall you serve your enemies. Ha ha. That's what we're doing. We're serving our enemies. Yes, we is. Yes, we are. That's what we're doing. That's how we do it. We serving them. I ain't serving nobody. I got my own stuff. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got jack. 
You a Negro. You're Judah. You still under this. You ain't got nothing. Because quick as you got that, quick it can be taken away. You ain't got that. I don't know where you thought you did, but you don't. You think Oprah and all these people, they got so much money. Oh, they got millions and billions. And when you're done, if he wants to take it, he can take it. It's not yours. That ain't yours. <laughs> that ain't yours. Sorry. Whose is it? It ain't yours. That ain't what word said. Word said. Ah. <laughs> the word said it. The word said, because you not, because you serve not Yahuwah Elokai with joyfulness and with gladness of the heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore, you shall serve your enemies, you which Yahuwah shall send against you in hunger. Mm -hmm. And in thirst, mm -hmm. and nakedness, mm -hmm. and in want of all things, mm -hmm. don't we? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck until you have been destroyed. Huh? Come on, slaves. We had yokes of iron on our necks. Come on now. That's how they took us. Huh? That's how they walked us through. Huh? That's how they kept us from running. Yeah, yokes of iron. Who else you know had yokes of iron on their neck? I wait. Exactly. Us. Who else? Who else had it? Us. We had it on our feet too. Huh? Things in our mouth. Come on now. The word tells you. And I bet a lot of y'all still won't eat it. That's not us. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to finish that. So, read it again. This is 48. It says, therefore shall you serve your enemies with which Yahuwah shall sin against you. He, gave, he sent them to us. They ain't just pop out, Scott. Oh, he sent them to us. He said, oh, I need you to go over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't do that. Either you do as I say do or, okay, just do, go do it. I, I got the rest of this. Just go on over there and do what I asked you to do. And they did it to the best of their ability. And they still doing it. Don't, they good. At least they obedient. I'm just saying shall sin against you in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. We is all of that. We is hungry, we is thirsty, and we is naked. There is so many of us hungry, thirsty, and naked. Period. And in one of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon your necks. We ain't got jack. Still in slavery. Mentally too. Until he's destroyed you and a lot of us died. Mentally and physically. Yahuwah shall bring a nation against you from afar, from the end of the earth as swift as eagle flies. A nation whose tongue you shall not understand. Say it again. Mm -hmm. A nation of fierce continents, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor of the young. Hmm. Got us over here. We don't know these people. We don't even know. We don't know their language. They got over here. I don't care if you was old or not. Oh, either I'm going to get you, kill you, or hang you. Which one you want? Oh, I can burn you. How you want me? They didn't care nothing about our age. They didn't care nothing about us. We were black. We were Israelites. And they did not care. And they killed us. Shucks. They ain't show no favor. Didn't show it to the young. Didn't show it to the old. Fed the young to the alligators. Fed the O's to the tree. Teeth and fire. Teeth and fire. Period. 
and he shall eat the fruit of your cattle and the fruit of your land until you be destroyed, which also shall not leave you either grain, wine, or oil, or increase of your kind, or flocks of your sheep, until he has destroyed you. And he shall besiege you in all your gates until your high and fenced walls come down, wherein you trusted throughout all your land. And he shall besiege you in all your gates throughout all your land, which Yahuwah Elokai has given to, unto you. And you shall eat the fruit of your own body ew, and the flesh of your son, oh my gosh, and of your daughters, that's nasty, and which Yahuwah Elokai has given you in the siege and in the straightness wherein your enemies shall distress you. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards the woman of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Mm -hmm. So that he will not give to any of them mm -hmm, of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat, because he has nothing left him in the siege and in the straightness wherein your enemy shall distress you in all your gates. Did I just do that? Okay, I think I just did. Okay. The tender and the delicate woman among you, which would not which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Her eyes shall be evil towards the man of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter and towards her young one that comes out from between her feet, the baby she just dropped, and toward her children which she shall bear for she shall eat them ugh, for, for one of all things secretly in the siege and straightness, wherein your enemy shall distress you in your gates. If you will not guard to do all the words of his Torah, meaning Genesis, Exodus, um, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, I think it's five. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, those Torahs. To Torah that are written in the Sefer, in this Sefer, you may fear this glorious, the fearful name of Yahuwah Elokai. I'll read it again. If you will not guard to do all the words of this Torah that are that are written in this sefer, that you may fear this glorious and fearful name, Yahuwah Elokai. We ain't got no fear of his name. We ain't got no fear of him. We ain't got no fear of God. Because that's what y'all call him. We ain't got no fear of God. We ain't got no fear of Jesus. We don't fear them. Oh, they cool. Yeah, he just gave me, he just gave me a car. I just got a house. We good. Oh, we we good like that. What? That's my boy. Yeah, we good. We that's my peeps. Huh? That's your peeps? That's your boy? But when he don't give you what you want, man, what's up? Why you? I don't need. Man, I don't try to believe in him. I don't know him like that. I don't believe it. He ain't real. That's that's what we do. That's why the heck we over here anyway, because we all wish you watching. I can't say nothing. Because I be going off too since I be mad. But anyway, I'm getting better. I digress. Anyway, all right. So then it says 59. Then Yahuwah will make your plagues wonderful. And the plagues of your seed, even great plagues, and of long continence, and sore sicknesses, and of long continence. He said, then Yahuwah will make plagues wonderful. <laughs> I, what kind of words? <laughs> what kind of words is that? Like you gonna make my plague wonderful. You you is gonna make my plagues wonderful. Now to, to us, that ain't that ain't good. That ain't that ain't wonderful. Y'all gonna make your plague wonderful. All right? I'm serious. I got you. Every plague you get is gonna be wonderful. I'm just saying, I'm gonna make it wonderful. Mm hmm That's what he said he's gonna do. <laughs> Ooh, he said I'm gonna make it wonderful. 
and great plagues, baby. I'm going to give you some wonderful great plagues. I mean, when I tell you your stuff going to be wonderful and great, oh, man, you ain't nothing better. It's the words for me. I want you to use wonderful. Don't use great plagues for me. Don't use wonderful plagues because I'm feeling some type of way. I feel some type of way, you know. Yeah, I'm going to make a, hey, hey. Hey. Hey now. I'ma make them, I'ma make them, I'm gonna make that heart problem wonderful and great on you now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I don't need that. I don't like the words. I don't want them words. You can have those words, Father. Can you give us some other words? That's all I'm saying. Because the words wonderful and great don't make us feel good. Don't make me feel good. I'm just saying. I don't like wonderful and I don't like great. Just reading it just made me itch. Yeah, it just gave me an itch. I don't even think I want to read that over again. I don't want to read that because I don't like wonderful. Huh. Moreover, this is 60. Moreover, he will bring upon you all the diseases of Mitzrayim, which you were afraid of, and they shall cleave unto you. That is just, I, I just, I don't like it. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. So everything we were scared of, you're going to bring it to us like, oh, okay, you want to play? I get you. I know what you, what you scared of. I got you. Ha! I already know what you don't like. I'm going to bring it to your door. No, wait, nope. Nope. I, I told you, you had an opportunity to do what I asked you to do and you didn't do it. So I'm gonna bring it to your door. But now, but why is it at my You had it's here? Oh nine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what he do. He do. He petty. I don't care. Y'all can say what you want. That ain't kind of, that kind of guy pet. He is petty. That's petty. I show you. I'm gonna show you what you don't like. I'm gonna bring to your door. I'm gonna fix you. Oh, you don't like. Oh, you don't like that. I know what to do. Mm -hmm. I, I'll straighten you out. I'm going to show you thought I was playing with you. Y'all. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's like us being parents. We tell you, oh, we know what you like. We're going to take it away from you. We petty now. You call it what you want. But that's petty. You can say what you want to say. We petty. We some petty parents. Oh, you don't. Oh, okay. Then you won't be playing that game. Oh, you getting a whooping and a punch. I used to do that to mine. Oh, you're going to get a whipping and a punishment. No. Oh, you can't play that. You can't do that. Oh, you will not be eating that. No, you might as well go on upstairs. You can't eat nothing. You need some food. You ain't getting no, no junk. No, you can't have no chips. We petty. We petty by nature. And you see where we're getting it from. Uh, okay, I was just trying to say, this, this is, this. we get we petty now. And we get to pick, because this is petty. <laughs> It's petty. He said, it's petty. Come on now. This is petty. 360, y'all. For real. <laughs> Please read 60. For real. Look, y'all. I'm read it again. I'm gonna read it, but read it again. Tell me this is not petty. If y'all say it's not petty, then I'm but it is petty. Watch, look. Moreover. He will bring upon you all the diseases of Miss Ryan, which you were afraid of. He already know you scared of this stuff. He know you scared. And he's like, oh, uh, you want to play? <laughs> okay. Yep, you don't like that. You scared that you're going to get heart problems. You scared you're going to get diabetes. You scared you're going to get... Oh, you don't like... Mm. But wait, can I? Uh-uh. I already told you. I told you, if you do this, I'll give you this. But if you do this, I'm going to do this. And that's what he did. We just as petty. This is us, y'all. This is us. We petty. I'm sorry. This is, I'm just saying. Take it how you want to take this for real. Anyway, whew, also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the sefer of this Torah, them will Yahuwah bring upon you until you be destroyed. So all that stuff that's going around, everything that we got, and I don't care about no pandemic all this crap 
I'm talking about every disease that's out here that we are catching and things that nobody know of, things that we ain't never heard. He, like the Bible said, if you go to uh, uh, 28 and 61, it tells you every plague, even the ones that ain't, that ain't in the book, that ain't in the Torah, he going to bring to us and we going to catch We ain't never heard stuff. What's the snuff? I don't know. Snuffleupagus, uh, blood clots, uh, 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 Come on now. I mean, I know I'm just making them names, but I'm saying things that we ain't never heard gonna come up. I'm the crown. Really? Really? I'm the crown. We don't know all these different things. Man, come on now. Chicken pots. I'm not I'm just saying, what's what's really chicken pots? You we ain't get it from chicken. Come on. This is this think back to stuff that they didn't get me measles. What's a measles? What's rubella? on all these things that have came up in in our lifetime in in different names we don't know these things but these names like stuff we ain't never heard before come on now no the word telling you right here then it says hmm and ye shall be left few in number that ain't no lie Whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because you would not obey the voice of Yahuwah Elokai. We were hard-headed. And it shall come to pass that as Yahuwah rejoiced over you to do you good and to multiply you, so Yahuwah will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught, and ye shall be plucked from off the land whither you go and possess it. Blue. Can't go. Blue. Uh-oh. -uh. Gotta go. Thought you was gonna get here. Told you. Not in my holes. Sorry. Okay. So anyway, 64. And Yahuwah shall scatter you among all the people from one end of the earth even unto the other. And there you shall serve other Elohims. El Elohims, which neither you, I'm sorry, which neither you nor your fathers have known, even wood and stone. This is us, okay? Read it again. If you read it again, you'll know what he's talking about. He didn't scatter them back in Genesis. He scattered us in Deuteronomy. This is us. We are the remnants of these people. We are the remnants scattered throughout the world for four corners. And the four corners of the earth is the whole earth. Not just America. We all over the place. Read it again. 64. And Yahuwah shall scatter you among all the people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. Mm hmm Yeah. North, south, east, west. There we go. We all over the place. Judah. We're everywhere. We're everywhere. Man, it's crazy. Okay. Also, among these nations shall you find no ease, neither shall the sole of your foot have rest. Have we rested? No. We steady moving. We steady running. We steady trying to get somewhere. We steady going country to country. We steady trying to get back to Africa. We steady moving in Africa. When we are in Africa, the Afri the people that's over in Africa, the the, the uh, uh, Israelites that's in Africa, they steady moving from place to place. We moving from place to place here. We're going from here to there. We're trying our best to find a rest. We can't find no restful place. Why? Why? Why we can't find a restful place? Sis, 
Mary, why we can't find a restful place yet? Marcus, why we can't find a restful place? Do you have an idea? Type it if you know. So anyway, can't find a rest place. Hold on, where am I? Okay, console for your foot to have rest. But Yahuwah shall give you there a trembling heart and failing eyes and sorrow of the mind. 66, and your life shall hang in doubt before you, and you shall fear day and night and shall have none assurance of your life. So it doesn't matter. When us black folk go out in the street, we don't know if we're coming back. When our kids go out, we don't know if they're coming back. When us kids get, when we all get stopped by police as kids too, we don't know if we're coming back. If we go into the store and we on, we out there with our friends and we walking down the streets and the white police see us, I'm saying white because that's who's killing us. The white police see us, heck yeah. We don't know if we finna die or what we gotta do. So all I'm saying is this scripture tells you everything that's going on, but we just choose to not believe. You better read your word. Better read your word. I'm going to read again. Mm -hmm. In the morning, is this the right one? Hold on. Wait, wait a minute. Yep, yep, yep. No. This is six. And your life shall hang in doubt before you, and you shall fear day and night, and shall have none, have none assurance of your life. We don't know what's going to happen. Skirt, telling you like this. In the morning, in the morning, you shall say, would to Elohim, if it were evening, and evening, you shall say, would to Elohim, it were morning, for the fear of your heart, where, wherewith you shall fear, and for the sight of your eyes, which you shall see. I have no idea what I just read. I'm going to do it again, because that just didn't, that just sounded discombobulated. That's crazy to me. Okay, I'm going to do it one time. In the morning, you shall say, would to Elohim, it were evening. And at evening, you shall say, would to Elohim, it were morning. For the fear of your heart, wherewith you shall fear. And for the sight of your eyes, which you shall see. I have no idea what I just said. I don't know. I might have to go to 68, because I don't know. I don't, that just sounds discombobulated to me. And Yahuwah shall bring you unto Mizraim again with ships. By the way whereof I spoke unto you. You shall see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. For bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. This here, 68, it brought us into ships. It brought slaves in ships. It tells you. And Yahuwah shall bring you into Mitzrayim. Again, with ships. Misraim is Egypt. See, we're in, we were in Egypt before, and we got out of Egypt. Now we're back. Egypt is our captive, is our captivity. We're in Egypt right now. This is Misraim. Our, our, our Judah is throughout the four corners of the earth. Our, our captivity is called Mitzrayim. Our captivity is called Egypt. It ain't Egypt for everybody. This ain't Egypt for everybody. This is our Egypt. This ain't got think, nothing to do with anybody else but Israelites. Our Egypt is where we are captive at. Please get that in your head. Our Egypt is where our captivity is. This is Mitzrayim, which is Egypt. That's what the Bible just said. And Yahuwah shall bring you into Mitzrayim. Again with ships. This is us. We, we here. Because we're descendants. I'm just telling you. That's what that is. So when you hear people say, oh, we in, uh, this is, this is, this is Egypt. This is, this is Mitzrayim. Have you ever hear that? This is our Egypt. Our Mitzrayim. This is our captivity. It's not for everybody. This ain't for everybody. This is us, Israelites. Hmm. 
Hmm. Again, we shift by the way of, and I've spoken to you, you shall see it no more again, and there shall be sold unto your enemies, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and for bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Down on us. I'm down with that. Down on us. We ain't no good. We spoil, we we'll miss. We jacked y'all. We jacked up. That's all I can give you. We just jack. <laughs> it's up to us how we gonna do this. It's just up to us, you know, how we gonna do this. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's up to us. So, I've been out here almost two hours. I'm sure y'all sick of me, and it's okay. Because I think I'm a little sick of me too. But it's okay. I'll be fine. I appreciate you all, whoever listened, whoever came on, whoever's going to hear this, whoever's going to pull your Bibles out and follow along. Yes, I gave you some commentary. Yes, I had some little funnies. Yes, that's just who I am. But the word is real. It's not funny. There's nothing funny about the word. There's nothing funny about this life we live in. There's nothing funny about the hell we feel like we're living in. America for us is our captivity. America for us is our Egypt. America for us is our Mitzrayim. And I'm talking about the Israelites. I'm not talking about Gentiles. And I'm not talking about Hamites. I'm talking about Shemites. We are Shem's uh, descendants. That is our lineage. And whether you want to be an Israelite, and I'm not talking about us being rebels, the one that's want to kill everybody and want to hurt white people, want to hate and, and shoot people. That's not who we are. We, we've done enough. We've done enough. Our ancestors has done enough. That's not what the real true Israelites are about. We are about getting back to the word, getting back to the Torah, getting back to the, the promise, the truth of the word. Our Torah is the, is, the, is the beginning of the Bible. That's our Genesis, Exodus, De, uh, Numbers, Leviticus, Deuteronomy. I don't know if that's the right order. I'm just saying that is our Torahs. I believe it's the five books. Those five books are Torahs. That's the beginning. That's what we are. That's what we were to live by. We had to follow that, and we didn't. Our ancestors did not follow that. So we're here. We were already captivity before in Egypt. Now we're back again. Now we're back again. Man, we could have skipped all this. I could have still been. We could have been over in Israel somewhere. We could have been. What we heard? Scared to scared to think. We scared to go outside. Can't ride your bike. Scared to walk. You know. You don't know. Get stopped by police. I got stopped by police. I was like this. Man, put your hands down. Uh-uh. Is you crazy? No, baby. No, 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 no. What you're not going to do is say that I did anything. Sir, here it is. Ma'am, I'm telling you. I'm, no. No. It took a minute. Ma'am, please. I'm not going to do that. I don't know. I don't feel like getting shot. I don't feel like getting tased. I don't want to be burnt. And I don't want to be feeling no burning going through my body. I don't feel like that. And I don't want to be all on, hooked up on tubes and stuff. I can't talk and stuff. I don't want that. No, I don't need that. So I'm going to do whatever I got to do. I stay in the house. When it's time to go, I go. And I don't be bothered. So I'm just saying. Y'all, we got to just decide who we going to do. What we going to do. Who we going to choose. How we going to live. Ain't nobody perfect. We're not. Don't make mistakes. I make them every day. I make them all day, basically. Still be trying to do right, but I be making mistakes and stuff. But I'm just saying. I don't plan to stay here long. And I'm not talking about in death. And I'm not talking about no no rapture coming to pick me up. And I believe in that. I believe one day we're going to be raptured up. But I don't believe it's no time soon. We got too much we got to do. We got too many things that we got to do, and we haven't done them. We are in the end times. We ain't in the beginning. We're in the middle part of the end times. Ooh, yeah, we ain't in no beginning. We passed the beginning. We in the middle. We getting close to the end. And a lot of us ain't ready. 
I'm just saying, y'all, we got to decide how we going to, how we going to do this. I'm going to still sound the alarm. It's all I could do. And the people that y'all shows me who has an elite place, who has a, who has something completely to do and needs to get it done so we can go home or so we can get over there and do what we need to do. I'm going to continue to push them. I'm going to continue to speak. I'm going to continue to say what I need to say to, to let them know you have a, a position and your position calls for you to do this. I keep stating, we have kings, we have queens. Empress, we have these people that are heirs to their throne. We have them here. And there is some things we got to do to get these people back where they belong. We have to. I'm summoned to do that. I've got to do that. I do. I don't know about everybody. I don't know what y'all got to do, but I know what I got to do. And I'm going to get mine over there. Period. I'm a planner. I plan. I'm a planner. I plan and I, 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 I think of stuff and I work out stuff and I pray about it and I ask. You tell me what I need to do. Show me how I need to do it. Set, give me what I need to say. Put me in position to say it. Let them hear me. Open their ears. Don't let them reject me. Well, if they reject me, do something and then make them understand. But I'm a planner. And I plan to do what I need to do to get my people back where we belong, period. I don't even care. I just got to do it. I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. So I don't care if nobody believe me. I still got to do what I got to do. My destiny is important. I was told what I had to do. I was told my role of what I got to do. I know what's waiting for me. I know what I got at the end of this. It ain't death, but I know what I got to end of, at, at the end of this and I got to do it and I got to get there and I got to get my person and my people there. That's all I'm saying. So I'm going to let y'all go. It's been two hours and three minutes. I guess I went to three. I don't know. All I could say is I'm sorry. I don't have set schedules. I just talk, get everything out. But I needed to read Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68. I needed to read that and let you guys know this is what the word is talking about. It's talking about us. People don't, people read that be like, I, 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 yes, it does. It pertains to us. It pertains to our, our, um, uh, uh, our ancestors and we are their descendants. We are the remnants. We are the remnants they talk about in the Bible. Okay. The Israelites are not in Israel right now. We are not there. We are not able to inhabit that, that place yet. Okay? We are not. But when he removes who he needs to remove and put us back over there, then we'll be okay. But right now, that's not where we're at. Okay? So, I put down in my description earlier in one of the videos, I put down the people who I, I love hearing, and that's Ron Dalton. That's the... Uh, Rebirth of a Nation, that's Judiah 332, that's uh, the Watchman Report, that's TCA, that's Benaiah Israel. I love these people. I listen to them. I look at their documentaries. I get information and I research for myself. I love researching things. So I'm just saying, guys, start doing some research. Start looking up stuff. Go on YouTube. Start looking at things that has something to do with the Spanish requisition and all the requisitions and things about. Go up there and look at. Uh, go to the uh, the Atlantic slave trade. Uh, um, um, what you call it thing? The manifest. Pull up the www dot slave Atlantic slave trade whatever it's called. Pull that up. Everybody that was sent over on those ships had the word Yah in their name. Why? Because that's who we serve. We're Israelites. We serve Yah. Who the person who we serve, we have his name in our names. Mm-hmm. That's what we do. Jeremiah. Hezekiah. Just 
Ananias. We just have those people. That's who we serve. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's not spelled with a J. It's spelled with a Y. Mm -hmm. H-A-L-L-E-L-U-A. I'm sorry. H H A L L E. No. Hallelujah. Okay. H A L L E L U Y A H. Forgive me, y'all. That's that's hallelujah. It's a Y A H. Because Yah is Almighty. He's the creator. He's the one. You know, Jeff is Yah. Take a look, look at stuff for yourself. Thank you guys for just watching. Hopefully anybody else come on, get your Bibles and start reading for yourself. Go through Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68. Read it for yourself. You don't have to listen to my commentary. I'm, I'm, I just, I have to put stuff in it because that's how I feel. That's, I just think I'm a writer. That's what I do. Thank you for everybody that was on here. I don't know everybody was on, but I know Marcus, my sis, Mary, my niece, Shay, my cousin, uh, Pat and Patrick, my brother. Everybody, and Chrissy, my cousin, everybody that was on here, thank you. I don't know who was watching. I appreciate you. I love you. And whoever else begins to watch this, yeah, I pray that this works for you. I pray that you are blessed. I pray that your family is blessed. Cover your family. This really started as uh, talking about um, the, the shift in the atmosphere a, a couple of days ago. And I've had dreams and I've seen things as far as uh, bloodshed, mass shootings. And they're beginning to happen. I need you guys to stay vigilant and pray for your families. The word does not come back void. And what he's given me, I'm not a prophet. I'm not a witch. So please get that in your head. I can't, I can't give you no prophecy. You can't come to me like what you say. I don't see nothing. All I can tell you is when you give it to me, I'm going to give it to you. And the bloodshed is deep. It's very bad. It's very, 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 very bad. It's going to hit very, 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 very close to home. But it ain't just America. I need you to understand that. This situation is really bad and it's global and it's trying to hit all the Israelites. It's hitting us, the Israelites, people getting caught up in the crossfire. But this is about us right now. I don't care what nobody say. It's about us. Read your word. I'm out. Deuce.